what's up, old ones fan here, and today we're back in Minecraft. And but today is something special. We have some models. We have a giant papyrus, a little papyrus, a, uh, a miniature sands, a miniature Vachmatorial, there's a miniature Azrael, I'm just gonna fly. And then a flowey in progress. Made by Skella Gaming, which is also a YouTuber, Skella Gaming. <laughs> Glide. That was awful. And I have something else to show you guys. It's called a Elytra Launcher. I'll leave a video in the description on how to make it. it was not made by me. It was not by the by the person who was who I'm gonna put in the description, and uh, he'll say what who made it. There we go. Did you see that though? I just like shot out of it like a bullet, and it got launched out. And it's really good for how compact it is. Originally, it's a five by three or three by five, and I just made it look better. And I'm definitely going to get a texture pack that fits me. Which I already know which one I'm going to get. I'm just not going to have it in this video. Maybe in another video sometime. I'm also going to show you guys something else. You need to get a bow. If you, have, if you want infinite flight, do this. Get a bow. That's a punch two. You know, Flowey's done, as you can see there. Anyway, so once you get punched you, you might want Infinity. So you don't waste a quarter ton of arrows doing this. Obviously, you need at least one arrow. That is not how you spell arrow. Okay. So then you just plop it in there. Plop it in there. And we're going to make our way to the Flowey. Which you can kind of see from here. I'm also going to go in survival here. You also might want some armor during this. Otherwise you'll probably die. Game mode zero. There we go. See? And there's Flowey. He's going to record too, as you can see in the chat. I just gave myself resistance, which is why I'm taking no damage. And you become a porcupine during this. Sometimes it doesn't work. You're going to have to have uh, some practice during this, which I actually have. I've tried to record this many other times, but uh, it's failed. Hey guys, so This is my This is my jungle gym. This is my jungle gym. I made it myself. I take you no damage. You, I hope you know that. Oh, I have this awesome house over here that's my house. I have my house. Come on now. I put those invisible blocks. There we go. What's really funny is I I put this Ender Dragon here because I tried recording this before and I could one punch anything and I could two shot the Ender Dragon, but this Ender Dragon is kind of glitched. Because, you know, I can walk right through it, it doesn't damage me, and obviously I'm in survival. And you can't hurt it. You have to have a certain speed in order to hit yourself. 
But, you know, once you get it down, you, come, you can go on forever. Ow. Yeah, if, and if you're wondering how the freak this is possible, well, it's magic. No, I'm just kidding. It's barriers. Barriers. Showing you my jungle gym. I put my head here for some reason. And um, this is the master bedroom, the only bedroom in the house. There's a nice double bed, one crafting table, um, one three table for five, one turning table. I don't know why I put it in the L shape. Anyway, so if you go up here, uh, then you can you know, get a nice view of the place. You can get a pretty bad view of my papyrus, but you can get a good view of all the others. And, um, this is the bathroom. Well, not really the bathroom, but the shower. And this little launching pad from above. We, uh, kind of made, we kind of made another video. It's where we went into the end to show our One Punch Man powers, because I gave us Strength 255. I'll show you the effect for that in now, a bit. Now I'm going to show you what this balcony actually is. I'll show you the command now. If you go down here, there's this sitting on the doorway, right? Well, the balcony is actually part of this doorway. I'm going to do that, then 999, 999, forever. And then the effect and how uh, the power, 255. The only how many hearts I have. And we kind of reformed the line, you got to like two hours to the odds. I'm pretty sure this is overpowered, but this is survival, baby. Alright, effect. I'm gonna give myself regeneration 255 and show whatever power that is. So, effect. At A, for all players on the server, so I'm giving it to him too. Then, 999. Nope, oh, nope, nope, nope. 10 for the code for that, 999, 999, then 255 for the power, boom. Look at that. Look at that. I'm literally invincible. I have resistance, regeneration, and free game. Yep, I can barely see half of my screen. Good job. You already um, did. No, but one that looks like a teenager. Oh. I'm, I'm supposed to make the, uh, I'm supposed to make the huge ones. Yeah. This is not the type of thing you want to make. Anyway, so you can see how overpowered it is. Oh. I have more health than the Ender Dragon. I'm just going to make Azrael Dreamer, the god of Hyperbeth, his head, because why not? Alright, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I mean, there's like... Barely anything to show you guys. Sorry about that right there. I'm just gonna go in creative. Okay. Game mode one. All right. Now you can see me. Those were. This video was all about Lytra trick and a Lytra trick. My my uh, that how that right behind me is like a house. Porcupine powers, infinite flight, uh, jungle gym, and statues. It took me four hours to make that papyrus, and it looks really good. Really, really good. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I think I already said that. If you liked, make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!